Given an array where the elements are in sorted ascending order, how can you write a program to convert it into a height balanced binary search tree? That's today's video. Let's get into it. Hi everyone, my name is Steve. Today we're going through Likert problem 108, convert solid array to binary search tree. Let's take a look at the problem first. Given an array where elements are sorted in ascending order, convert it into a height balanced binary search tree. For this problem, a height balanced binary tree is defined as a binary tree in which the depth of the two subtrees of every single node never differ by more than one. Okay, let's take a look. For this given solid array, minus 10, minus 3, 0, 5, 9. One possible answer is this, 0, minus 3, 9, minus 10, 5. So this is a binary search tree and it also it's height balanced. The key issue to understand this problem is that for a, for a binary search tree, every single node on the left side, it must be small, exactly smaller than the root node. And for every single node on the right side, it must be exactly greater than the root node. So with that understood, what we can do is that we can always find the middle node to be our current root node. And in order for this binary search tree to be as much height balanced as possible, we would like to as evenly distribute the number of nodes on both sides as equally as possible. So we want to find the middle node as, as middle as possible to be our root node for every single level. So beginning at the top level, what we'll find is the, the very middle node, right? We can use the middle node to be the root node. And then for every single node on the left side of the middle node, they will potentially be the candidate of the left subtree. And then for every single node on the right side of the middle node, they will be the candidates for the right subtree. Then we'll keep recursively doing so. Now let's take a look. Suppose we're given this sorted array in ascending order. Its index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. How can we build a height balanced binary search tree based on this given sorted array? First, we need to find the possible value for the root. So first, for every single uh, binary tree or binary search tree, we always build the root node first. From there, we go, we build its left and right children. Which value should we use for the root node? As I just said, for a binary search tree, for a very high balanced binary search tree, we would like to use as middle as possible to be its root node. We start, start is zero and end is four. How do we calculate the middle? We'll use start plus n divided by two. That's going to give us the middle node. Then we can build the root node, we know its value. Now what's going to happen after that? Then we'll try to find which value is the proper value as we are building a height balanced binary search tree to be the left subtree and to be the right subtree respectively. So as I just said, we'll do this recursively and then for every single node on the left subtree, their values need to be exactly, exactly smaller than the current root node. Okay, so back to this given sorted array in ascending order, we know that for every single node prior to this element, they are all exactly smaller than this element. So we know we can find the possible ideal candidate from this range, right? From this range, from start to mid minus one. Mid right now is here. So start is still here. We can find the possible ideal candidate from this range, from zero to one, from between these two indices. Okay, this is the recursive function. We'll find, we'll try to build the left side by calling this function recursively, but changing the index, the start and end. Start is still the very left side, but n is going to be mid minus one, because as I just said, for every single node, in order to be a binary, valid binary search tree, the left side needs to be exactly smaller than the root node. So right now the root node is at this, and then we'll use everything on the left side of index of, of index two, right? So, and then we'll do this. We take these two elements into this function is going to be zero, one, right? And then we'll do the same for the right side. Right side is going to be everything on the middle node plus one until the end of this given array. So that's why we have mid plus one until the end. Take in, take whatever we have in the current condition, that's going to be three and four because the mid at this point is at index two. Then we'll continue to do this for every single node until, until at what time? Until this node start is greater than end. At that time, we'll just break out. That means we have finished iterating through 
both sides. There are no more elements anymore. So we'll just keep iterating, keep iterating for both ends. Time complexity of this algorithm is going to be ON. Space complexity is also going to be ON. Now let's quickly put this idea into the actual code. Let's take a look. So we'll write a helper function. I'll just call it DFS nums. That's the given sorted array in ascending order. And then for the start and end index, in the very beginning, it's going to be zero and nums length minus one. That's the start and end index. Then let's quickly implement this helper function. Trino DFS int nums int start int end. First, we check the base condition or the corner case. If end is smaller than start, then we'll just return now, right? That means either means this is a corner case or that means we have traversed through every single side of this array. There's nothing more to do. We'll just return. Otherwise, what we'll do is that we'll find the middle node into mid. As I just said, we can use stand plus end divided by two. That's going to give us the middle index. And then this is the index that we can build the root node. So we'll call it root, and then it's going to be nums mid. This is the root node that we can build. After that, we'll just call this function recursively to try to find the left subtree and the right subtree. Left DFS itself and the nums. And then start is this. And it's going to be mid minus one, right? For, because this is on the left side of this current root node, which means all of the possible nodes values needs to be exactly smaller than this root node, which is this mid. So the ending is, is going to be mid minus one. And then for the right side, what we're going to do is that for the start point is going to be mid plus one, mid plus one, because for every single node on the right side subtree of the current root node, the values need to be exactly greater than the current root node. And then the end node is going to be still n. Parentheses. And then in the end, we'll just return root. That's it. That's the entire code. Now let's hit submit. Judging takes a long time. All right. Accepted. Yeah, this is the program um, how to convert a solid array in ascending order into a height balanced binary search tree. Time and space complexity are both O N because we need to traverse through every single node. I hope this video helps people understand how to solve this problem. If that's the case, please hit the like button. That's going to help a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Right now, we're going through a series of tree problems. After this, we'll go through sorting and searching and then dynamic programming and then different combinations of data structures and algorithms to help people better prepare for their upcoming coding interviews. So please tap the little bell notification, then you won't miss out on anything new. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.